Guys, what's up? Meteorologist Mason Wills here with my Be Bad Weather. And uh, just wanted to um, kind of show you the new look of the radar. There's been some changes to the radar. Um, one of them being that um, the name is no longer named Live Doppler 27 HD radar, it is now named Storm Tracker HD. So same radar just different name okay and uh i apologize for the light my camera my camera light is on um but i'll go ahead and show you the rest of the look of the radar so here it is um this is the radar and um still same radar this is another look of it um, it is, um, the background of it is also different, it is the Lynx look, okay? The Lynx look, barren Lynx, and, uh, the precipitation type is also Lynx, okay? Uh, and this barren system is very, very powerful still, or WSV3 system, I should say, because it is technically made by WSV3. But this Baron radar is very, very powerful still. Uh, more powerful than it's ever been. Uh, well, actually, just as powerful as it's been since I first started Miami Valley weather. But, um, just different name. You can see up here on the banner, Storm Tracker H HD. It's got the Miami Valley weather logo on it, which, which I thought was pretty cool. Well, down here, I'll go, show, I'll go ahead and show you what the radar will actually look like. We'll go down here to Northwest Arkansas. There it is. This is the new look of the radar. Um, this is what's called the Baron look. The Baron palette. Which is just the radar, which is just the color palette for the, uh, the radar. And, uh, this is what's gonna, this is what it's gonna, gonna look like when... We had storms moving in to the region. Like I said, this is Northwest Arkansas, so this is not in our area, but still, I'm showing you what the radar will look like in our area. And uh, here is the velocities, uh, same velocities as always been. Um, still same colors that indicate which way the winds are moving. Um, got the debris tracker this is also a different change to it i it's not the standard uh debris tracker correlation coefficient look that you guys are normally used to uh this is a little bit more different look to it uh still same meeting um this is uh what these colors represent the darker shades is general colors general uniform colors but as these when you start to see these bright colors show up, these white areas, that indicates where there may be debris showing up. And there's no tornado warning on this storm at all in Arkansas. Just some very strong winds possibly kicking up leaves in the air, okay? That's what the radar is picking up, okay? But uh, when these colors start to go from normal uniform to falling into these bright areas with the white, that will be an indication for debris, okay? So that's another change. Um, wind shear tracker, still the same. Uh, this indicates, um, this will indicate a change in the height with the winds. And uh, you can see then down here, um, just northeast of Fayetteville, Arkansas is some strong wind shear and uh, also still have the uh, gate to gate shear which shows intense winds blowing in a certain area so it's still same uh hail tracker hail size tracker really is what it is called um still same um hail severe hail possibility tracker um still same as well um, echo tops, which indicates, uh, which, uh, which 
indicates um, how tall a storm is up in the atmosphere. Um, and then, of course, like always, go back to the radar. And this is the actual reflectivity side of it. And uh, that's basically the new changes um, to um, the radar. So it is now called Storm Tracker HD. Like I said, still same same radar, just different name. We'll slide back up into the Miami Valley um, and switch back to the National Weather National Weather Service radar in Wilmington. Um, there you go. There's the National Weather Service radar in Wilmington. You can see what this mostly is is just ground clutter from the radar site in Wilmington, but you look down here near to a copy, um, a few uh, pop-up showers, maybe even some mumble of thunder going, um, but for the most part, these are not severe, no signs of any rotation within these storms, within these cells right here, just some minor pop-up downpours happening west of Chillicothe. Right here, so that's Jellicothe. There's these two pop-up showers. It's just this is just southwest of Frankfurt. Um, I can go. I can give a track um, on these two cells, which I believe are moving off to the northeast. I think. I think they're moving off to the northeast. There's not a specific speed, um, but South Salem. You expect it in seven minutes. You expect this one in seven minutes, and then 50 minutes of Frankfurt. Um, and then as for this one down here, this will remain over, main, over mainly rural areas of the western half of Chillicothe. Uh, it will brush by the northwest side of town of Chillicothe. But as for us here in the Miami Valley, we are dry for the night. But however, I am watching our next weather maker for this coming weekend. So. Keep an eye out for a video on that, and I'll see you guys next time. And also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube, to the YouTube channel, Miami Valley Weather, for further, uh, for future videos, and turn on those post notifications so that every time when I do release a new video, um, you'll get notifications. And also another cool, um, um, look to this radar is the, another cool feature is the fact that not only can I use the National Weather Service radar in Wilmington but also I have my other three uh, radars. I have the uh, National Weather Service radar in Northern Indiana. So National Weather Service radar in Northern Indiana right there. Here's the national, and as well as the National Weather Service radar in Indianapolis. Um, and then finally, the radar from the National Weather Service in Louisville, Kentucky. And then, like I said, our local office here in Wilmington, emanating from right here. And none of them, as you saw, as I switched over to them, are picking up on any rain at the moment, except for Wilmington, pick up on those two spy showers west of Chillicothe. But other than that, dry for the night and until the weekend. So, but yeah, keep an eye out for future videos. Make sure you have those, those post notifications turned on, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.